Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of a Bedlington Terrier puppy or a young Bedlinger Terrier dog? They're great dogs. I'll give you some tips, some facts about the Bedlinger. The Bedlinger Terrier breed originated in the United Kingdom. The name Rockbury Terrier was given to the breed after the district of Roxbury on the English border. The gypsy nail makers who had settled in Rothbury had prized the breed as a hunter of various games. Thus, the name Roxbury had become associated with a particular terrier. In around 1825, a Rothbury dog had been mate, mated to a Bedlinger B-I-T-C-H. This resulted in the creation of the Bedlinger Terrier breed. The Outer Hound and Dandy Dinmont Terrier or other breeds that could have possibly contributed towards the making of this breed. Miners of Bedlington used the dog as a vermin hunter and also utilized it as a fighting dog in the pits. Again, hunters used the dog for retrieving work. The dogs were accustomed to rodent hunting underground. They also worked with foxhound, first exhibited in 1877 as a separate breed and recognized by the United Kennel Club in 1948. The Bedlinger Terrier has now found its position as a good apartment dog, as also an attentive and barking watchdog. The dog has a wedge-shaped head, arched back and curly coat. There is no stop on the head and it descends in an unbroken line from the crown to the nose. The eyes are small and deep set and have a sparkle in them. Its body shape is unusual for a terrier and is more akin to the to those greyhounds or whippets, thus enabling it to gallop at a great speed. The front legs of the dog are straight and have a constructed construction quite different from those of the quick hounds. Its feet are hair-like. The dog has a pointed tail. Living conditions. The dog can be kept in apartments provided it gets sufficient exercise. The Bedlington Terrier, like other terriers, is very energetic and gets bored up and starts behaving mischievously if not given opportunities for expanding their energy. Exercise. The dog needs to be taken for long and vigorous walks at least once a day. Aerobic play sessions may also be set for them to provide them additional exercise and also to keep them happy and contented. Bedlinging Terriers are well suited for agility. You're going to come to this website. It's a resource for you where you can get a free mini course all about the Bedlington Terrier. This mini course is going to teach you how to lead and think like a pack dog, the new psychology, the two main reasons why your Bedlington Terrier puppy isn't housebroken yet, and what you should do in each case. Three dangerous mistakes that most Bedlington Terrier owners make when they are trying to obedience train their puppies that actually make their puppies more difficult to train and how you can avoid these mistakes. How to stop your Bedlington Terrier puppy from play biting and nipping. How to improve your Bedlington Terrier's lifespan and keep him from getting overly heavy with a healthy and nutritious diet. Getting pro help fast. How to get access to expert trainers when you need them most. One hidden psychological trigger that all Bedlington Terriers have that practically allows you to analyze and control your Bedlington Terrier's every action. A surprisingly easy way to teach your Bellington Terrier cool new tricks. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to this website. I'm going to leave a link below the video. You're going to scroll down. You're going to put your name in, your dog's name, and your email address. Click on subscribe and they're going to send that free mini course directly to your inbox, which will give you information on how to train your dog, how to feed your dog, and how to care for your dog and its general well-being. This is Tony, and I want to thank you for listening today.